hey guys welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to tell you about uh, placement in the birth and the navamsha chart okay so before we get started please subscribe my channel follow me on instagram and if you want to take personal consultation or tarot card course then you can contact me okay so let's restart this video guys so this is one example chart that i have made um so first of all uh, birth chart one rashi is for two and a half hours so many um, people take birth during that time and everyone will not have the same destiny this is also a very fixed thing a person may be very much progressing in his life okay and other person who has the same horoscope may not be progressing in their life so navamsha chart becomes important and not only navamsha chart but also uh, other divisional charts which are very important to be seen basically navamsha chart is a destiny chart it can tell you marriage it can tell you career and what your destiny particularly is going to be okay what type of person you are internally and what uh, each and every planet is actually doing in your horoscope for example this person has exalted sun okay this person is really a powerful person this person is really having that uh, leadership qualities of course this person has but internally this person is very emotional lost and as it is a debilitated, debilitated position of sun uh, this person has low confidence okay which this person never shows okay emotionally they are broken this person can be and very much influenced by other people so the person doesn't know how to deal with people the person has um the person must be a king in the past life and had ego issues that's why in this life the person has got this placement so by the birth chart we can tell basically what basically is happening in the life of the native but uh, this is a very practical thing that we have to know that uh, no matter what uh, if five children take birth at on uh, with the same lagna okay they will have completely different destiny so just relying on the birth chart is not correct birth chart can tell you basically what um, planets are showing what kind of personality the native has uh, the karma in the majority level but what exactly the native will do in the life navamsha chart reading is very very important okay but one thing you need to remember if a planet is really weak in this chart really weak then during its dasha um, the native will not get nice results okay this is a fact in this chart we see venus is placed in the 11th house 7th house creating dhan yoga but venus is placed here in the 6th house which shows that when the dasha of venus will come the native will face issues the native will face problems okay uh, health issues can occur relationship problems can occur family issues can happen family issues can happen so all these things can make the native really really uh, so all these things can occur in the life of the native during the venus dasha or under dasha okay um, Jupiter is good here in the 11th house it is considered very good but here it goes in the Maran Karan Sthan which is not a good place for Jupiter to be and conjunct with Rahu so that's why it can um, the native can face issues related to relationship related to uh, mother related to homeland okay so all these issues a native can face so navamsha chart tells you what exact position of a planet is and will the planet give result or not for example we have to check is mercury strong for this person then in this chart it seems to be strong in the kendra house with friend saturn of course we have to see the degrees but now we see here where but now let's say mercury goes in the 12th house 
okay so mercury in the 12th house which is actually a debilitated position so basically we can say neutral mercury so uh, the native uh, can go abroad during this time because it is the ascendant lord and uh, neutral position not very bad position aspected by friend sa friend venus aspected by friend venus so it is a neutral position um, so the native can get good results moon in the now moon in the eighth house is not considered really good um, now here it is in the fifth house which is a good position of moon moon is the lord of the fourth house which makes moon good for aries ascendant here moon is the lord of the 11th house which is also which is also um, a good house basically although it will bring problem because according to power power concept it is six position away from the sixth house so it will create problem but it is in the eighth house so gains the native can face and uh, good result related to fifth house bhagya will rise but but as it is in the eighth house ups and downs emotional issues anger issues all these things will happen and as it is aspected by mars which is a malefic planet okay and the lord so as lord is aspecting so lord is protecting its own house but still but as it is in the eighth house it will definitely bring emotional turmoil emotional issues in the life of the native for sure so um during the do, so during the dasha of the planet sun um it is seen that the native will definitely get the good results because for, for a lord in the uh, for fifth lord in the first house obviously but the native can internally suffer or uh, uh can face losses basically related to other people through business marriage traveling can happen some confidence issue the native can face but overall sun is not in that that much bad position is still in the kendra although it's it becoming powerless so we can say that neutral results so we can say that neutral results the native will get during the sun dasha so this way we have to see we can say venus is strong for this native but venus is in the 6th house in the 6th house which is opachya house so it gets better with time but still it is in the 6th house so uh, the native will not get that much good results in this okay in the 6th house basically uh, problems issues will arise for the native okay debts diseases enemies can disturb all these issues the native can definitely face okay moon is here in the 5th house moon is placed in the 5th house okay and saturn is placed in the 5th house here so uh, the bhagya of the native will rise slowly slowly the native has some karma to be paid off the native will definitely get married late and romance will be completely very less in the life of the native relationship issues the native can face because saturn is in the fifth okay so this way we have to analyze here mars uh, mars is good but in the enemy sign uh, but it uh, but it is the ascendant lord and here it is in the first house the native has too much anger issues and if the native is not able to control anger the native is not able to control anger the native can definitely face issues uh, the native can definitely face problems okay um, definitely the native can face too much problems in life if uh, the person is not able to control anger okay the native is very very clever and intuitive and very much interested in occult and mysticism and uh, ketu here is in the ninth house which makes the native very religious and spiritual as well so during the ketu period although ketu is in the eighth house eighth house is not considered that good for ketu 
because still it is the bad house but here okay, as Ketu goes in the ninth house the native can get neutral results so this way we have to analyze for example now sun is exalted what if it had been exalted here or placed in the first house or a, a very good placement of the sun had been then in that case the native would have got definitely very very amazing results so here our 12th lord is here eighth lord is in the ascendant third lord two malefics are sitting uh, for virgo ascendant it is the 12th lord so neutral planet eighth lord and the third lord for virgo mars is not very good venus is good in the sixth house saturn saturn is the fifth lord and the sixth lord uh, however saturn is in the good position can give success to the native job change because uh, the native is in the or the saturn is in the own house so no matter what ultimately will give the good results okay so this is the position of the uh, planet so this way we have to analyze guys you have to see the planet is in the friendly sign or not enemy sign neutral sign then we have to see house placement which house then you have to see the conjunction aspects which planets are aspecting okay malefics benefic all these things we have to see okay house placement house ownership always see that for each particular ascendant there are certain planets which are malefic there are certain planets which are benefit so house placement is very important is it the sixth lord ruler eighth law house ruler which house so this way we have to see okay guys and then we will be able to know if um, what results a particular planet will give okay so this is the thing we have to see this way the native can get success for sure but uh, still the native will have to work hard so it is a neutral normal kundali of the native then for knowing deep then for knowing properly we will go deeper deeper through the divisional charts but like i told you birth chart is important then navamsha then other divisional charts so i hope this video was helpful please don't forget to subscribe guys take care bye